Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is Craig again, and for this episode, I'm going to show you how to assemble a hunter and some Jaegers, straight from the two-player starter set. Alright, so what you're going to need, obviously, is some super glue, little hobby knife, clippers, and the models themselves. I've already pulled out one hunter here. Let's go ahead and put the camera down. And it comes with, each model comes with a set of legs, a torso, a pair of arms, hex base, and accessory sprue. Uh, the accessory sprue including the engine, head, rocket pod, auto cannon, and a vibro blade. And the first thing you want to do is go over them all and check for any kind of flash. I've already kind of cleaned this one up just a little bit. There wasn't too much flash on it. I find white metal, which these are made of, tend to get the, some really thin mold lines. You scrape them off or file them off if you've got files. You're good to go. Alright, so now we're going to just start clipping this apart. And... You just clip the arms apart. Get that sprue out of there. And then you want to go over and clean them up. And then we'll remove this stuff here. So I'm going to clean this stuff up, and I'll be right back. Okay, that didn't take too long at all. I just don't have a very good fast-forward function. Didn't want to bore you with it. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that the models, the 300s, 3 Jaegers, come with uh, different posed legs and slightly different posed arms. Like, here's a set of just at your side arms and kind of straight out while another set is the crossbody hold the gun arms and this is the one I'm gonna actually use and they just fit in there and they so it's gonna hold the gun across his chest like that in a ready pose not into a not in a firing pose these would be firing arms so I'm gonna go ahead and put those back in the little box there alright now the first thing you do, or the first thing I do, is I set it into the base. Makes it a lot easier to, to work with. Okay, so that's down that there. And then I'm going to just oh, a little bit of stuff there. There we are. I'm going to attach the body to there. And you can see it's already coming together. Take a little bit of my glue. Good old zappy gap. A little bit right in the join there. Just set that down there. Give that a little bit to dry. Ooh, watching glue dry. Exciting. Okay, so we're just going to let that sit there and dry for a little bit. And while it's drying for a second, I'm going to talk about the light all cannon. They all come attached with the pistol grip, which you don't need. The hands, they don't attach in. Some people drill out the hand and file down the pistol grip to its own pin. It's a good idea. It's a fairly decent idea. But for this, I'm just going to do straight glue for this little thing. Uh, and that's good there now. Waited a few seconds there. While I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and clip this off here. So your auto cam will look like that. Or do you put the hand on the hand, rather? Clean up a little bit there. My knife is getting dull. There we are. Uh, one thing I am also going to note is that I'm not going to use the uh, fiber blade, so I left it on the sprue. We'll put that back on the box there. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry just a few more seconds. Be right back. Okay, that was just a few seconds there. So, next up, I will attach the arms. 
The arms all have little posts. Sometimes you gotta clean them up though. That's a good place for a flash to collect and make it a little bit wide. I've already pre-fitted. You can kind of see where it's shiny because I've pre-fitted. They fit into these peg holes, which that's another place for flash to, to build up. So you might have to clean it out with a pin vise or tip of a hobby knife or something. If it's super filled and you don't have a pin vise, you can remove the post right off the arm. It'll glue together flat to flat. It'll be fine as long as you don't take it too rough on it. But mostly, they just fit right in there just like that. And that, I can just pinch it there and it'll hold in. And you can see there that the one hand grips the auto cannon, the other one cups the foregrip. And so I'm going to glue them in. Now, when I do that, uh, I generally have the autocan ready to where they're going to dry, to where the autocan is looking pretty good because I don't add the autocan usually to last. Um, so let's put those on. Just glue into the post there just a little bit. Smooth. There we are. Interestingly enough, the glue will actually help them go in slightly better is kind of oily. And put that one there. And while that's still not set, grab the auto cannon, place it across there. That way you know. Oop. I'm a righty, I'm trying to do everything with my left hand here. Which way that's going to be. That up just a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. So pull it in just a little bit. Alright, so the arms are in. A lot of people also like to use magnets. These are 1 one forty fourth miniatures. Um, they're about the size of a 28 miniature because this is a large robot. So even though the scale is 1 one forty fourth, the general unit is right about 28 millimeter but there are some details that are pretty small uh, so magnets don't always work if you can't get the right size uh, I know a lot of people have trouble putting magnets in hands so all right so we're gonna let those arms dry for a little bit okay so the arms have had a little bit there to to solidify next up we're gonna put on the head and the engine and rocket pod. Um, yeah, I'll get that in a second. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put a dollop on the head, right in its socket. There we go. Just drop it right down on its post. And it's ready. There we are. And then the engine. You can see where I can get on the shelf there, where the little shelf lines up right there. Just put some glue there. Um, a lot of times I like to use a little bit of green stuff on my joins. Actually, I do a lot of pinning on these guys. I, I generally pin everything, but if I'm not, I find green stuff will hold just just the tiniest bit nothing to to um, offset the pieces but just to, to hold them to give it something for the glue to tack to uh, works out pretty good there Let's see if I can't there we are. hold that there that's what I get for trying to glue two at once We'll just hold that on there for a few seconds there. Okay. And that's still fully drying, so be careful with that there. Move the head back a little bit. 
Next up is the Rocket Pod, which will fit right on that little peg there, resting over the shoulder. Uh, but one thing about the Hunters, there's one weapon that comes with the North, which is the snub gun, snub cannon, excuse me. It's a large anti-tank gun. The model that wields this gives up his rocket pack. So if we're going to give this hunter snub cannon, we leave off the rocket pack. Uh, and the snub cannon fits far the best in the cradled hands there. So you want to check your northern bits and see what kind of arms you got. If you got two sets of cradled hands, that's great. You can have a cradled auto cannon and the snub cannon cradled. Let's see what I got over here. Yeah, which I do. I've got two sets of cradled hands. So, this one, I'm going to leave the snub can off him. I'll put on a later one. And just use the auto cans since I got it ready to go. So, we're going to put a little bit of glue on that rocket pack. Right in its little pin post there. There we go. And then just set it right on its post. Give it a few seconds to hold. Okay, so everything got a little jumbled up there. I'm sitting next to a window in my office, and so of course this is the day that the window guys come in to clean it, so I had to move everything. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, we're going to make this guy the auto cannon guy, so the snub cannon's not worried about. So then the last thing we've got, because everything's on there, glue on that auto cannon. Just going to fit it in there. There we go. So I put a little, little bit of glue in the hand, just, just a little bit there, so it doesn't rattle. And then I put a little bit, and that's the second hand, sorry, not the pistol grip hand. I just put a smear of glue on the back of the gun, and they're divoted out. You can see the stock is divoted out. That fits right over top of, if need be, the angle of the arm so you just fit that in there perfectly like that and just let that set up and then we'll have a full hunter so we'll give him a few seconds to dry too all right so that's got it here's our hunter all put together and dried if I can not drop him there and I just put him together. I was running back and forth for work here, so there's a little bit of extra time in between. So he's really nice and dry. So he's good. Uh, Jaegers work out the same way. Here's one of the Jaegers. Put together exactly the same way that the Hunters do. Just got the legs, body, head, engine, rocket pod, arms and gun. They're just rounded. And... I also have the rest of the, the groups here. Move him to the side there. Here's the north with the headhunter with those fins on top. He's the combat group leader. And there's the snub cannon. Doesn't have that rocket pod like I was saying. Some people might want to snip off that post. I do and I don't. It depends. that and then we have the south here here's the one I already showed you standard firing position here's a the command Jaeger with that football helmet looking style he's in a nice running pose there huh? Looks like a little bit of flash there I'll have to fix that and then they've got a light bazooka, their heavy weapon of choice. The bazooka is lighter and does less damage than the snub cannon, but it's more accurate. Snub cannon hits really hard, but that's why he gives up the rocket pack and the bazooka doesn't. 
All right, so. There they are. And that's what comes in the starter pack. Now, there are some different weapons. Uh, I just chose standard light auto cannons and one heavy weapon, but you can tailor them as you wish. And like I said, I put the I put these together over little bits of time while I was here at work. Um, I'd say maybe about 15 minutes per guy, and that's allowing extra drying time. So not really too long at all. And just a little bit of your time, and you're ready to start fighting. So I hope this video has helped you, and uh, happy having you. See you next time.